Okay. Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over how to um, shorten the length of a project um, and minimize the cost in order to shorten it. So we have a problem here. We have these. We have three different paths: a top, and a middle, and a bottom. And we have certain act activities that have to get done in order to complete the projects. Activity A, B, C, D, E, C, F, G, H. And the duration of each activity in weeks. Now, in order to shorten, like if I wanted to, now it's assumed in the problem, it doesn't tell you this, but assume if I spend eight, this could be 8,000, it could be whatever, 800, you know, 8 million, I don't know what it is, but eight something. We'll just say eight dollars for for brevity. If I spend eight dollars, I can shorten this one week. If, and then the next time I crash it, if I spend ten dollars more, then I would shorten it another week, so that the duration would become three weeks. Okay. So these, that's what these crash means. The, the terminology crash means um, you're going to spend extra money in order to shorten the duration of any one of these activities. So the first thing we have to do before we proceed, we have to create a network diagram. And I'm in a little bit. I'm going to show you a template, which I'm going to use to, to short to do this. And that template requires me to do the, the network diagram in a certain way. So I went ahead and pre-did the network diagram, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here for you to see. So this is called the activity on arrow diagram. So each one of these activities, A, activity A is labeled on the arrow, and then I made numbered nodes. So these are called nodes. Sometimes, and there's another type of diagram you see often in these projects that's called activity on node, where you put the activity, this would be called A, and that would, that would take, and there'd be like a 5 beside it, which would show, and then the next one would be B here, and there'd be a 6 beside it. But again, that template that I'm using, you have to use something called an activity on arrow diagram. So you can see as I label this, I have activity A, it takes 5, and then I have the, the cost of the first and second crashes. Activity B is six six weeks, and then the cost of the first and second cr crashes for that. So if I do went ahead to the first and second crashes, it costs seven dollars and nine dollars for a total of sixteen dollars. I could crash this down to four because remember to reduce it one each time I crashed it. Okay, or I could shorten the, shorten that activity by four. So hopefully that's clear. Now the next thing we want to do before we start to use that template, we're going to go ahead and we're going to say path. You will say A B C, which is actually A B C, which is actually node one, two, five, seven, and then we have another path. So that's one path, and the next path is one three five seven, which is with which is activity A E C, and that's one three five seven, and then finally we have. Uh, one more path, which is the bottom path, which is F G H, and that's one four six seven. Okay. Now, as you can see, activity C is shared by the top and the middle path. Now, another thing that's important to do in order to make it work for the template, you'll notice I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I, I have an ascending order as I go to the right. Okay. You could, Probably draw like a vertical arrow through each one of these. Right, and it starts one, and then I don't go one, two, three, four. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have it ascending as I go to the right. Okay, so what we're going to have here, we're going to have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the time in weeks for each one of these paths. So we have initial, and for the initial time. Well, how many weeks does it take to go through A, B, and C? You can't start. You can't start. You can't. You have to do activity A first, then you have to proceed. After you do activity A, then you do activity B. So it's five plus six plus three is eleven weeks. Well, I'm just going to use a formula here. I'm going to go equal sum five plus six plus three. So that takes. Whoop! I see. That's a good thing I did it with Excel. That's not eleven. That's five. That's fourteen weeks. And then what I could do, I could go ahead and copy this formula down like this. But the problem is this isn't going to be in the right spot. It's just summing me, so I'm going to drag them. When I go up here, I can move this to a, this means move when the little four arrows come up. I'm going to drag that down to here. And then I'm going to hit enter. 
And then I'm going to go to this formula and double click. And I'm going to drag this one down to some name. And you can see that's 15. And that's 13, which is the sum of those three. So that's the that's how long it would take to do each project. So which project, which project would be the critical project or the longest, the thing that makes a project? This, these two don't really matter, right? Because it only takes 13 and 14. So the project is going to take 15 because these guys are going to be done ahead of time. So, this, so I'm going to highlight that. That's a critical project for the for the initial. So we can see right now we're going to want to crash one of these in order to reduce this. All right. So let's just so we're going to have to iterate. So I'm going to go iterate iteration. I'll go uh, first iteration, and uh, and then we'll go ahead and we're going to have a second, third. I've done this already, so I know there's that many iterations. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and go merge and center, and then highlight all these. And something like that. Highlight that. I guess we could do is make this look nice. I'll make this uh, blue. Make that blue. Okay. So. And let me center all these. Okay, so uh, so another information we want to put in here is I'm going to copy this to the right. And put it right here beside so I can see what's going on. And so I'm going to say I'm going to keep track of the cost. So I'm going to make another chart with costs. So I'm going to say costs. And same, same path. I'm going to say activity here. And we'll start with A. Now see when I go A, it thinks I want the thing up above. So I'm going to hit a space and a backspace. And we have B. And I'm just going to copy this down. Oh, wait. And next we have C, D, E, F, G, and H. Right? Let me get rid of these. I'm going to delete them. Okay, so we have those activities. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And we're going to, and we want to reduce each one of these. Okay, so, uh, so, so I'm, going to, I'm going to open up a template now to help. So I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to M, H, H, E dot com slash Stevenson 12e oh, I have a T in there Stevenson okay and once you get to this you're gonna go to you're gonna click on student edition it should be free it might take a while but then it's gonna come up here and it's gonna say it's gonna have this right here I'm gonna click on Excel templates and this problem that I'm using happens to be from chapter 17. So I'm going to download that template and go ahead and open it up. Okay. Once you get it downloaded, I'm going to go into my download folder because it seems I lost it. And you get something that looks like this. Okay. You go enable content. And we're going to go into trade offs. You go to the tab PRT crashing. That's we're doing. We're crashing these projects. I'm going to go clear. Okay. And then what I want to do, I'm going to go back to my. Okay. So let's go ahead and work on this. Um, so I cleared it out. So we're going to go ahead and put our activities in. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. Copy. And my activities are right here. Paste. A, B, C. So A. A is 1, 2. B is 2, 5. So I'm going to go 1, 2. B is 2, 5. Now in order to do this, we have to remember I told you you have to do activity on arrow. Can't do activity unknown. And then C is 5, 7. 
and B is 1, 3. E starts at uh, 3 and goes to 5. Uh, F is 1, 4. G is 4, 6. H is 6, 7. And then before you crash, how much time is it? A is 5, B is 6. Oops. C is 3. D is 3. E is 7. Oh. Uh, F, G, and H is 5, 5, and 5. Okay. So it says here, enter the activity, the start and end, the normal time data. Initially, crashing time and cost columns must be blank. So leave these blank. And it says, for step two, press solve. So I'm going to hit solve. And it solves it, and it says the critical path. So the critical path is F, G, and H. And we already know that the critical path is F, G, and H, because it takes 15 weeks to do that path. Okay, so that's why I highlighted it in red. And so it's 15, and it costs us nothing, because we haven't crashed. We haven't done any of these crashing yet. Okay. So that's my initial. Now it says select the feasible activities on the critical path to crash. And then if there are no feasible activities, you're done. So we're going to go on our first iteration. We want to lower this 15. Okay, so I can crash. I can crash activity 5. It costs me 10 to crash activity 5. 11 to cra crash activity, activity F. I'm sorry, 10 to crash activity F. 11 to crash activity G, and 12 to crash activity H. Well, which one's the cheapest? Because we're trying to do it at a minimum cost. We're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to crash activity F, we're F, we're going to crash activity F for 10. So I'm going to go to F, and that cost is 10. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to go activity F, I'm going to reduce it by 1, and it's going to cost 10. And if I go solve, now that, now that has lowered to 14. So I can go over here and I say, now this is 14. Well, I didn't do anything on this path. And I didn't do it on this path. So these still take 14 and 13 weeks. Okay. So now I have two. I'm going to change this to yellow again. I have that one's critical and that one's critical. And that's what it shows here. We have two critical paths. They're both 14 weeks. So now I want to do, I want to redo something from, I want to reduce something from this path. And I want to do something from this path because I need to get these down to 13 weeks. So which one's the cheapest here? This one's 8, this one's 7, and that one's 14. So of course I'm going to pick the 7. So I'm going to pick activity B. I'm going to crash it for $7. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go 7 here. I'm going to crash it for 7. And then down here, I already crashed this one for 10. So if I go to that, it'd be 15. So I can't do that. So out of these two, the cheapest is 11. So I'm going to crash activity G for 11. Okay, so I'll go back here. I'll go activity B. I'm going to reduce it one hour at the cost of 7. And then activity G is to reduce one hour at the cost of 11. And I go solve again. And now I have 13, which is true because I reduced that to 13. This one stayed the same because I didn't do anything. Reduce that to 13. So now they're all critical paths, and they're all the same. They all take 13 weeks. Now the next thing we need to do is we have to say, well, how many weeks did I want to reduce it? It says three weeks I want to reduce it, right? So I've reduced it one week here. So I have to reduce it one more time. So now I have to reduce on all three paths. So if I look on path A, B, A, B, C, I've already done the seven. So I can do the nine here or the 8 here, or the 14 here. But then I also have to reduce, so you'd think you'd do the 8 here. But it would probably be cheaper to do the 14, because if I do the 8 here and the 8 here, that would be 16, which would be more expensive. So I could just do it once here, and I could cover both these paths, so that would be the cheapest. So so activity C, I would reduce, that would, that would cost me 14. Because if I did 8 here, I can't do the 7 here, right? So I'd have to do 8 here because it's the cheapest out of these. 
an eight here because it's the cheapest out here. That'd be 16. Well, 14 is cheaper than 16. Okay. And down here, we already did the 10 and the 11. So the next one is a 12. So we do 12 here. Okay. So now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to C. We're going to reduce it one unit to the cost of 14. And then H, we're going to reduce one unit at a cost of 12. Okay. And then I go solve. And it shows that my completion time is 12 on all of them. Because I affected all of them. So, and then what was my cost? I can go here. I can go here and go uh, cost. And then go equals the sum of all of these. This is, so it's $54. Okay. And reduction, or I could say, well, that's equal to the maximum of what I started with minus the maximum of what I ended up with on those previous paths. So I reduced it three weeks, and that's what I wanted to do. I want to reduce it three weeks. Okay, so. So it cost me $54 to reduce it three weeks, and that's the minimum I could do. So hopefully that helped, and that's it for that problem. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. You can actually, you probably figured out by now, you probably could get away with it without using that template, but a template's kind of something you can kind of check yourself with. But anyway, that's it for that problem. Hopefully that helped. Thank you.